All right, hey everyone. So we got uh, another Matchbox video for you here. Hopefully you guys seen that video. Um, but we got more Matchbox. I am gonna switch it up though, because next video after this, I actually have, what is it here? I just pulled a random case from my basement. I've got like nine cases already. I haven't even opened yet in the basement. Um, oh, Hollywood's, Hollywood series 35, I think it is. The newest one, stay tuned for that one. But uh, we're gonna be looking at a bunch of vintage Matchbox, just main lines. Actually, I like super fast. There's a couple of them. Yeah, two, two super fast, I think. I don't know. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll just quickly look at the packaging and then uh, I'll cut the video and uh, we'll take a look at them up close. So the first one we got here is the Jeep 4x4. Same actually as the one we just looked at in the last video. But this is actually the original, I guess it is, from the one they released two years ago, three years ago now. Again, I should pull that up, but it's on time. Uh, let's see, 93 copyright date. Oh, this one's good. I just I grabbed a random assortment of cars here. Corvette T top. Love my Corvettes. 93 copyright date as well. Uh, what do I got? 57 Chevy with that opening hood. 92. Uh, Ford LTD. And a no name police. 92 as well. Ooh, this one's good. Got a Land Rover Defender 90. A very nice green. Trying to get all those because those are not cheap and not easy to come by. 1997 copyright date on that. Another Jeep. We got the Jeep Eagle, it's called. I got a couple of these in the collection from the 80s and stuff. This is 93. Um, so I'm stoked at another one of those old school vintage uh, Jeeps. This is actually the newest one we're going to look at is the Broutmaster Boss in blue. I might already have this one, but screw it, I'm going to open it anyways. 2007 copyright date. And, ooh, old BMW 850i. Not a ton of BMWs from Matchbox, but this would be uh, another one to open. I'm excited for it opening doors. 93 copyright date. Uh, we got a 500 SL. Love my SLs from Mercedes. Mercedes Matchbox, the old stuff is really, really, really cool. And some of it's actually quite hard to find. 92 Cup Rate And the last one we're going to look at is the 65 Shelby Cobra 427 from Superfast in a white. Here it's that. Ba -ba -ba. I don't see it. I'm blind. You probably see it and I don't. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll rip those open real quick, and I will be right back. Well, we're back. So, open up the cars. Uh, man, there's some really nice ones. I'm, I'm <laughs> this BMW, man. I think that's my favorite. You'll have to let me know which one's your favorite, but I think that BMW's the best. We'll save that one for last, of course. Got the Jeep 4x4 here. I like this. Classic, old school. I've learned to appreciate these old Matchbox. I used to think they were kind of weird and ah, why would I ever collect those? And then not too long after, sure I am here with over 2,000 Matchbox. And, well, now I'm collecting vintage Matchbox, but there's a Jeep 4x4. Got the Corvette T-top. I've said before, I love my Corvettes. And this one's yet another nice one. Got suspension, C3 Corvette in red. Chasing after them all, we'll see. That was pretty nice. Land Rover Defender 90. I'm a little disappointed. It's got some packaging rubbed. Down the side, maybe not. Oh, it looks like that actually might come off. Oh, yes. Sweet. Okay, that'll come off. And a very nice green. I'm curious to know that this one's worth because some of these Defenders, I keep mentioning prices and stuff, and it, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, you should always collect what you like. Don't get it for value. But, <clears throat> excuse me, it doesn't hurt to know that your car is worth more money. But these Defenders can be pretty tricky. Got this SL. This is a kind of a bit of an oddball casting. I've had some issues with some rollers and stuff. and um, But this one's nice. The white on beige. The interior is pretty nice for what it is. I love these wheels. 
headlights are part of the window. And I actually like that they painted the window piece a little bit. 500 SL on the side. Tampos in the back. Um, plastic base, which is part of the whole like side piece there. So it's surprisingly light for what it is. Um, but I do love that casting. Ford LTD. Love this casting. Another classic. Who doesn't love old cop cars from Matchbox, right? Sweet. There you go. Uh, mentioning Jeeps a minute ago. Gosh, these, these are really cool. I gotta get a bunch of these. They're just so blocky and just very toy like, unlike some of the new Matchbox now. And that's alright. Actually, that roll cage is pretty fragile. That one looks good. Uh, Cobra. Make the... Oh, almost dropped it. Strange looking, super fast wheels. Front detail, rear detail. Ooh, look at that. Look at that stripe. Looks good. Odd how the windows are kind of yellowed. I don't know if that's all like that or just the one I got so that's kind of concerning but hopefully that's just a normal thing for those 57 Chevy I don't know about this one this paint is super weird I think I have two of these in the both the painter kind of are on it the hood does open it's just chrome but it's a bit finicky it's not a great casting but it looks cool it looks cool for sure I'll have to check my other one and see if the paint is as bad as that. I think they're just all like that for some reason. Uh, Routemaster bus. Matchbox toys. Had to get that, of course. It says Matchbox on it. Uh, what do we got? Oh, just a BMW left. Look at that. Look at it. Very bright blue interior. Come on, that's, that's so nice. The suspension. Let's see if I can get the door open here without... Sending this thing flying. Ooh, and shuts nice. A little bit of detail on the back. Not much on the front, but that's okay. There you go, guys. Pretty short video for you here again. Uh, stay tuned for the next video because that'll be green light. We're going to switch it up. And yeah, so stay tuned for more.